Welcome back to the channel. I'm Graham at Conspiracy Depot and today we're going to take a trip back down to Antarctica. We're going to a small island called Two Hummock Island and it's in this location that I can see some kind of metallic object just resting in the water just off the coast. I don't think there's any disputing that this object looks metallic and I believe it to be triangular and I'll show you why later in the video. So looking at the object, what do we see? So it looks metallic, it looks very smooth, there's some kind of dome feature protruding from the top of it and it seems to be resting on the water but I do believe some of this craft or this object is submerged and I believe this point here is where it begins to be submerged and this point here completes the triangular shape. So let's have a look at the approximate size. So if it is a triangular shaped object, the top two points are between 50 to 55 feet and the other two points leading to what I believe is the tip are somewhere between 55 to 60 feet. So whatever this is, it's a good size object. I don't think this is natural. It looks nothing like the surrounding terrain that it's um, resting in. Maybe it's a remnant from the fabled UFO battle which took place during the infamous Operation High Jump. For those of you not familiar with Operation High Jump, there has been many theories as to the purpose of the mission. But one theory which was heavily speculated was, back in 1947 the US Navy launched an expedition led by Admiral Baird with the intention of finding and destroying Nazi bases left over from World War II. Now it's said during this mission, the US Navy engaged in a battle with unidentified flying objects, which led to a large loss of life. Now during an interview with Chilean press, Admiral Baird confirmed that they had encountered a new type of craft that could fly pole to pole at incredible speeds. So that's something to think about. But going back to this area and this anomaly, I've looked closely at the rest of the day island and I can't see really anything untoward but maybe you guys could have a look as well. You might be able to pick something out that I've missed. As always, thanks for watching. I can't explain to you how much I appreciate all of your support. Take care and I'll see you next time.